Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Heart Talks. Well, I'm not at home anymore. No. Well, I am at home really, because I'm back in Glasgow. So, I've come back, unfortunately, for a funeral, um, which is not a nice thing to have to do. But um, I'm going to take advantage and see some friends, catch up with some people, and thought you would like to join me. So, come on, get ready. Hey everyone, oh, I look tired, but um, I, as some of you know, I'm here in Glasgow to go to a funeral, um, and this person was my music teacher, it was my friend Irene, she went on to become my friend um, for many, many years after teaching me as a student, and Irene was an amazing person because it was Irene that got me into musical theatre. I would never, ever, well, I don't know if I would have ever, but I, you know, I was this little 13 year old kid and she pushed me to audition for the school play, uh, the school musical, The Music Man. And unbelievably, her son Colin, um, in the last couple of weeks of Irene's life, they were watching a lot of old videos and stuff, you know, just nice memories for Irene. And Colin sent me a few little clips of me in my first ever performance as Winthrop Peru in The Music Man. Now, I had never performed ever in my life on stage. I never even thought about it. And th um, I'm going to put a couple of these little clips in of me singing my little heart out. And um, it's just really cute. I think it's cute. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get the full um the full video eventually from colin um and i can i can put some more clips in but i just thought i'd add these two little clips and um and yeah just say thank you to my friend irene for for putting me on the path that i've been on for all these years So hey everybody, so um, as you know I've been taking pictures of all the people that I've been meeting and I've been walking along the street today and somebody's been following me and I've been trying to get rid of her and I just can't get rid of her and look who it is. Hi everyone, <laughs> hope you're all well, surviving, <laughs> staying safe. Staying safe, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Long time no see. Long time no see. How's, how's things going, Cass, since the last video we did? Um, oh, well, that was our lockdown video. Mm -hmm. So I've got, I've, I'm working. I've been working since April, um, doing what I love, back in events and sales in a great hotel. Um, it's temporary just now, but it's, look, it's looking, yeah, it's looking good. Looking good. But, She's uh, been back there doing a thing, haven't you? Yeah. And how's life? 
It's good. It's good. It's good. That's all we're selling you. That's all we're selling. Watch this space. Um, so, any exciting things coming up? Any... Um, so, we are about to do, PMOS are about to do um, MTI released, I think it's called All Together Now, and it's for amateur um, groups to come together, a musical review that will be performed in one weekend in November, which is around about the 12th of November. So, we are really just trying to put things in place for that, COVID protocols, and yeah, it'd be great to see everybody and just get back in the rehearsal room, albeit still socially distant yeah. as performers. But um, yeah, can't wait to, to belt out some of those songs. Good, good, good. Well, you saw her here. It might only have been a flash appearance, but you can never get rid of her. I'll be back. She'll be back. She'll be back. <laughs> see you later, everyone. Bye. Thank you for coming on this journey with me to Glasgow. It's been... I'm tired. I'm getting ready to leave today and I am tired. I've fitted a lot of friends in over the last couple of days and um, do you know it's, it's really interesting going to my friend's memorial service, my friend Irene, um, and being able to speak at her service was wonderful, you know, because it just reminded me of what a wonderful person she was. But seeing all the, the, the other people's memorials was just lovely and funny. We had a wonderful laugh about her life um, and the things, the accomplishments, you know, just, just, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as sad as I had expected it to be. And it's funny, you'll see from some of the pictures that I've put in the photo montage of my time here. I met up with some guys that were, guys and girls that were in the years above me at school. And you know what it's like at school, you know, you know who the people are above you and you kind of always keep your distance because they're higher than you. You know, there's not a lot of mixing that goes on. And it was funny because we all sat, we all hang out, hung out afterwards. And it's amazing how little you know about people and people's lives and how little they knew about my life and you realize that when you get to an adult none of the crap that we dealt with as kids you know i mean like that we thought was important that we um didn't like each other for that we our differences that when we were kids were something that was we were ashamed of or other people would would tease us about you realize when you're an adult that they just are nothing and sometimes they're the things to be most proud of um, so it was really interesting talking to a couple of the guys you know that were in the air above me just about their memories of me and you know um, yeah it was it was it was nice it was nice yeah so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video um, and the photo montage, which you know I love a bit of a photo montage. Um, thank you to everybody that has been part of the last couple of days. Thank you for you guys for coming with me on this, this journey. And um, I suppose I just, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff, hit that like button. Um, yeah, comment, please comment. Tell me what you liked about this video. Tell me um, about your experiences. You know, it's always interesting to hear what you think of the video. Just want to close this video with just saying thank you to my teacher, Irene. Thank you for being a teacher, a friend, and for yeah, just taking care of that little kid that walked into your music room 37 years ago and you kind of, you kind of put your arms around me and never let go for all those years. You continue to follow my career, you continue to follow my life and you continue to be part of it for all those years and I feel very honoured for that. So thank you, Irene. Thank you for putting me on this path, this path of theatre, you know, and music. And it's so important to me. And every time I pop my headphones on, that's down to you. So thank you.